Hey guys, I'm Molly from Everyday Gymnastics and today I thought that I should do a sit down video that maybe you can relate to. So I made a list of a bunch of random things such as things that gymnasts hate or like gymnast pet peeves. So I hope you guys enjoy listening and let's get started. The first thing on my list is mental blocks because I know there is most likely not a single gymnast in this world who enjoys mental blocks. They're just a waste of time but like you can't even help it so there's just no point to mental blocks but they are the most frustrating thing I think in the sport of gymnastics. So that is definitely one thing that gymnasts hate and comment below if you can relate. I had mental blocks on a few like minor skills, a few minor mental blocks. But my main mental block has been on flyaways and I'm pretty much over it now. But you know there's still that hint there from the past. So let me know if you can relate to that. Number two on my list is when someone walks across the vault runway or the floor or the dismount mat right when you're about to go and you have to stop mid skill. So like for example you get all prepped on the end of the vault runway you're gonna do like this huge vault and then someone just like doesn't look and they just walk straight across the vault runway and then you have to stop. The next thing that gymnasts hate is when you like finally make your series on your beam routine or your hardest skill and then you fall on your full turn. So like that could have been the beginning of your streaks of making your beam routines but no you had to fall on your jump or your full turn. Number four is when you try a new skill or you're just working on an old skill that may not be the most consistent, but you do it perfect so many times, and then when your coach finally asks to see it, you miss it. Like, of course, that's my luck. When they actually watch, I don't. The next thing is something that people from the outside usually do to annoy gymnasts, and that is saying that everything is either a front flip or a back flip. So they may see a back handspring and call it a backflip, or back tuck and call it a backflip, or a back layout and call it a backflip. They call everything a backflip, and that just personally really annoys me because I'm like, no, that has a name, and that is not just a backflip. I'm not just chucking my body back. It's, it's a back tuck. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody else feels that way. The next thing on my list is kind of similar to the frustration of having a mental block and it is when you cannot get your steps right on your vault. So you may just be having a bad day and they can't align to the springboard or like you're just stutter stepping so much right by the springboard or you're trying to learn a new vault and you need a new place. It's just really really frustrating when you can't keep that steady stride. Next up has to do with people cheating on conditioning. So that is really annoying because you are working very, very hard. The coach is counting down how much longer you have to hold this position. And you just see someone over there slacking when the coach isn't looking. And if the coach does catch them, they are going to add time. So that just affects the whole group who are working hard. And that person still has to do less time than everyone else. The last two things on my list, number eight and nine, kind of go hand in hand. And they are questions that gymnasts hate to be asked or just like statements actually. The first one is the statement, it is, gymnastics is not a sport. Nothing gets on my nerves more than that and I'm not even gonna go into it because I just know in my heart that it's a sport. I play a sport and I do gymnastics. And then the second thing is the question, are you going to the Olympics? And obviously I'm not. You guys know for what reasons and it's just, unnecessary for me to answer that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you could relate to any nine of the things that I said and comment down below which one. And also please subscribe to my channel. I'm super close to 100,000 subscribers and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!